the video which you can see on my right this kind of videos are going very viral nowadays on tiktok and instagram but how exactly we do that in this video i'm going to tell you everything you need to know about that in after effects so first of all you need to take your phone in your hand and move towards the object or the guy who you are making video of then bring that video into after effects and to bring the video in after effects you need to come here and click on import i have kept it on desktop and named it at logged on clip i will click on this and open now i will drag and drop the video on the new composition and this way it will create a new composition as you can see and i'm gonna play the video and move the playhead of the video to the point where i'm gonna cut the video so i have the cropped part of the video and then i'm gonna make a cut there and delete the other part of the video now to make a cut in after effects it's not same as davinci or premiere pro you need to press ctrl shift d to make a cut so now the first step is to track and stabilize the video for that i'll click on the video and go to the stabilize motion and it will give me a tracker as you can see now as you can see it's very small so to move it properly and place it properly i'll move the jog wheel of my mouse and it will zoom in the video and now i'm gonna grab it from here and place it on his face so it tracks properly okay now a pro tip whenever you're gonna track a video make sure the playhead is on the first frame of the video otherwise you will end up losing time now i will make sure that it's on the first frame of the video i will go here and press on analyze forward so now i'm gonna go and click on apply and when i click on apply it's gonna give me these options which is x and y x only and y only i will click on x and y and then okay and there you go now it's stabilized but the video is getting cropped here if you see so to avoid that i will go to transform and scale it a bit up okay now we are done with stabilizing the footage the second step after that is to speed ramp the video so to do that you cannot do in this composition where you have stabilizing a uh, tracker applied on the video so we need to pre-compose the video make a new composition and a uh, move all the attributes in that and then after that you can speed ramp that composition so to speed ramp we right click we go to time and we click on enable time remapping now as you can see i have a keyframe here i'll move the playhead to the end of the video and then i will go and create a one more keyframe so we have one in the beginning one in the end and it means from here to here it's going to take four seconds as you can see to move the playhead but if i move this uh, further in it means from end from beginning to the end it's going to take one second now and you can see it's uh, fast now but i will move it more to half a second so the whole video is going to play in half a second so this is how you really uh, time remap the video in after effects and after that if you see if i uh, move the playhead the video is finishing but what i can do is i can reverse the video here this is very different than premiere pro in premiere pro you need to make a cut and reverse the other uh, clip but in here it's very simple to do you can just come here and just go you know to this point and then just reverse the video here this is super easy in after effects now as you can see i have created the speed ramp i will just uh, select all these three uh, keyframes right click and then go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease so this way the video will not be linear anymore it's going to be bezier curved now the third step is to add some motion blur in this video so for that i will go uh, into the effects and search for cc force motion blur and drag and drop it on the video after that i will open that time remap and i will go to the keyframe where i am stopping so guys as you can see here in the video we were stopping and moving back so basically we were static so here the motion blur should be normal and shutter angle 180 is gonna give us a normal motion blur and after that i'm gonna move to the first and the last keyframe of the video and then I'm gonna increase the motion blur by increasing the shutter angle on those keyframes and I will do as I like but for you you can uh, increase it as much as you like to have uh, the desired effect for you so now it's having a very beautiful motion blur effect and just to see you what it did I'm just gonna disable it and play it now and you can see there is no motion blur but we, when I 
uh, enable it and I play it see it's having a very beautiful motion blur effect so that's what it exactly did so guys this is how you can do the locked on speed ramp with the very smooth uh, stabilized video now i'm gonna export it so to export it i'll go to file and add to render queue and it's not gonna export or show you render until you put the proper location so you need to decide a location where it's gonna go tell after effects and then after that you will see the render as you can see here and i will click on render and this is how it will render so this is the basic of doing this and then you can have as much layers as you want and retime them with your music to have the perfect video like this so i hope you liked the video and if it was helpful for you please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the video because i'm gonna be coming up with many many beautiful features and tricks for you so thank you so much